the affirmation that he did and came in and happened is absolutely magical. Now you can find loads on YouTube. There's plenty of people talking about it. But it is absolutely magic. And affirmations work and you can have magic in your life every day. And it's got to be a system. Hey, how are you doing? It's Alan here from Looking for Warriors. And I want to take you through this book, How to Fail Almost Everything and Still Went Big. There's a bit I'm listening to. I'm listening on Audible. And he talks about magic. Magic. Scott Adams doesn't believe in magic. Scott Adams is a spellcaster. He casts spells all the time. And he still doesn't believe in magic. I believe in magic. The Muslims have a thing, and I think a lot of religions have this, but I hear in the Muslim faith a lot that you don't say the name of God. There's Allah and there's the last prophet and the Imam and his last prophet and all that kind of stuff, but you don't say the name of God. And the Jews have this with the golden calf as well, that God isn't a thing that you can worship. And it's too complicated. It's too complicated to thingify it. It's too complicated. It's like sub subconscious mind. Where is this? Where is this? And is it intermingled between different minds? Are all the minds connected together? But God is too complicated to thingify. We use the word God or whatever, Allah, whatever you want to use in order to try to get some understanding of what it actually is. But it's too complicated to thingify. And Scott Adams doesn't believe in magic. But he said the affirmation, Scott Adams said the affirmation of, I am a famous cartoonist. And he became a famous cartoonist. Now, I've had a parts of my life where I've done affirmations and parts of life where I haven't. And the parts of life where I haven't been doing affirmations are the parts where I've been having so much fun. It's really where I've been benefiting from previous affirmations and I've been just having too much fun to do them. But when I look back and I see the parts of my life where I haven't been doing affirmations, I can see I was coasting at those times and dropping. And the times when I have been doing affirmations, you know, affirmations are complicated, you can do them in different ways, but the times that I haven't been using the unseen, unseen, godlike, unseen part of the universe where I haven't been using that I've been dropping and sometimes it's really it's really frustrating because you're like <laughs> it's, it's gonna sound pretty conceited but it's pretty frustrating because you're like I'm pretty smart I'm very talented I work really really hard why am I not doing okay or why am I not progressing it's gonna sound pretty conceited <laughs> and the reason is because you're only using half of your power. Because there's half your power which is here. But there's another half of your power which is which is in the unseen. Another half of you which is in the unseen, which has never come into this reality. And if you're not using that, you're only using half your body. I type, I type all the time. It's very difficult to type with one hand. It's very difficult to run with one leg. And if you're not using all your power, then you're only using half of what you have. And then you wonder why your life isn't going the way you want it to go. And Scott Adams talks about affirmations. He talks about he did the affirmation, I will be a famous cartoonist. What was the chance of him becoming a famous cartoonist? Zero. So low, so low is basically zero. Not because of him, he's a very talented guy, a very smart guy, but because the chance of any of us becoming a famous cartoonist is basically zero. Basically zero. So if you're not using what we call affirmations or what we call law of attraction or what we call meditation, you're only using half your power. You're trying to type with one hand, you're trying to run with one leg. It's just not going to work. Now you've got to do the work as well. It's like the Jesuits have a saying, you pray with your feet. That just means you do the work. Do the work. Anthony DeMello tells a great story about a Jewish rabbi 
who was really pious, he did everything right his whole life. And he's at the end of his life, he says, he says, listen, God, I, I've done everything you've asked me to. I've been, I've been really, really, you've done everything you've asked me to. I've been really pious. I've lived my life exactly the way you wanted me to. Now, can you just let me win the lotto? And I'll die happy with money and I can leave money to my family. And so he waits and waits and waits and then he calls out to God again and says, God, come on, let me win the lotto. I've, I've done everything you've asked me to well, my whole life. Let me win the lotto now. Let me just leave something to my family. And um, he waits and waits and waits and nothing happens. And eventually he walks to a river and he cries out, God, God, come on. Give me a break here. I've done everything you wanted me to my whole life. I've I've lived the exact life. I've been really pious. Just let me have this one thing. Why can't you just let me win the lotto? Why can't you just let me win the lottery? And here's a voice coming back. Give me a break. Why can't you buy a ticket? <laughs> so buy a ticket, do the work. But you've also got to use the the unseen, unseen, which is affirmations, which is saying where you want to go in the present tense as if you already have it, which is Scott Adams saying, I am a famous cartoonist. I know, and it's it's about it's systems as well. Scott Adams talks about systems. And it's about it being a system. It's just something you do every day. This is a mistake that I make because I have done affirmations in the past and I have got to really good places when doing them. And then I thought, oh, you've made it. I'm here. I'm here. And as I said, I'm here. Slowly, 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 you don't notice it. Slowly, slowly, slowly it disappears. So... It's about doing it, but also when you get there, it's a system. It's just something you do every day, like you pray every day. So it doesn't really matter how you do it, whether you call it praying, whether you call it meditation, whether you call it affirmations, but you've got to use the unseen part of your life. And it is magic. I'm going to disagree with Scott Adams here. Scott Adams says there's no such thing as magic. He doesn't believe in magic. It is magic. Or he says it looks, it, when it happens, it feels like good luck. Yes. That's true. It feels like unbelievable luck or magic <laughs> or magic. It's basically, it is magical. It is magical. It's magical that Scott Adams said he was a famous cartoonist and he became a famous cartoonist. That is magical. It's magical that Scott Adams said he wanted to be in the, I might get this exactly wrong. He wanted to be in the 85th percentile. I think it was 85th to 95th percentile in an exam. And he, when the letter came, he got the exact, he got the exact percentile that he was, he said he had in his affirmation beforehand. It's incredible that Scott Adams said he was going to, or he had, because you have to say in the present tense, he had a, incredibly beautiful girlfriend and then he got the incredibly beautiful girlfriend that he wanted that is magic that is absolute magic now I don't know what you want to call it you want to call it divine intervention you want to call it communing with God you want to talk and talk say talk to your unconscious you want to call it permission slip you want to call it a an affirmation but I'm calling it magic it's absolute magic and magic is real magic happens every day it wasn't that Jesus came down and he did miracles miracles happen every day you can do miracles every day and Scott Adams becoming a famous cartoonist is a miracle is an absolute miracle and there is magic I experience magic all the time <laughs> not all the time sometimes obviously I don't but there's absolutely magic in this world. Now, what I want you to do is get this book. I'm going to grab it. Get this book and read the bit of affirmations. Read a bit of affirmations. It's absolutely magical. It's absolutely magical. The affirmation that he did and came in and happened is absolutely magical. Now, you can find loads on YouTube. There's plenty of people talking about it. But it is absolutely magic. 
and affirmations work and you're going to have magic in your life every day and it's got to be a system it takes 15 minutes a day it takes 15 minutes a day that's it 15 minutes a day and you bring magic into your world everybody's got 15 minutes this has been Alan here from Look For Warriors done by Scott Adams head of failure almost everything and still went big and the magical affirmations that he did every day. Thank you.